Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NSW NXT, Dave Easton in the NXT arena, along with special guest Matt Rhodes. Matt, good evening. Hello, Dave. It's great to be back here on NXT. Yeah, oh, and we have a limo pull up. Who could this be? Oh, it is Marvelous Monroe. Matt, a new competitor who we've seen for the first time last week. Yeah, guys, looks like he's got a lot of class to him. Yeah, and we're going to go straight into our first match. It is Samuel Ismail versus Edgar. It'd be very interesting to see how Salim does against Edgar. And I know you're a very big fan of Edgar, Matt. Yeah, it kind of a, it got a little bit of an improvement toward the end of the season, but end up losing that, uh, being part of the NWO and having to come back to NXT to kind of rehone his skills and maybe build back up to be back on the main shows. A very good signing by Mick Foley, you would have to say. Yeah, it was a tough loss for SmackDown to lose him, but Mick Foley was able to jump right in there and grab him right up. But I'm kind of interested to see how this uh, Bollywood star here, Salim Ishmael, does. Yeah, we haven't seen him uh, since week one. He's been away for a while. Um, so let's how we see he gets on against Ed Edgar, who's had a, an amazing start to the season. V should be a very good test. Yeah, it should be a very good or hard fault match between these two. Well, as again, Matt, thank you very much for joining us on this Sunday edition of NXT. Um, special um, NXT coming your way. And, well, we have got a lot of plans tonight, of course. Matt, our main event is Raider versus Oliver Bisping. Yeah, it'd be very interesting to see what the uh, production crew head member can do of Oliver Bisping. It'd be um, very interesting to see if he can take down the Raider. Yeah, Raider, who, of course, was unsuccessful in his main roster spot challenge, comes back to NXT, has to win two more times to get another main roster spot challenge, but that is all to come later on. And here is Edgar, Edgar with a bit of swag to him this season, Matt. Yeah, it seems like he's kind of following this hip-hop kind of flavor thing kind of going on here. And of course, we've seen him this season already win a foot trip to Rome. One of these new Mick Foley uh, matches that he made. Um, so really, could be looking at another title shot really soon if he keeps up this winning ways. Yeah, stack a couple of victories together and it'll definitely get you in line for an NXT title shot. Oh, let's see what happens here. A big chance for one of these guys to really step up on this opening contest. Week 5 of NXT. Let's see what happens. Matt, are you going to go for Edgar on this one or are you going to go for um, the Bollywood sensation? No, I think I might have to go with Edgar. I think he's got the uh, veteran skills that he's picked up from being on SmackDown for a while, and I think he's just ready to grab that title and go back up to a main roster show. Well, and well, how's it been? How's it been? You've been back in NXT for the day. You've been backstage. How, how's the locker room? How since you you last here towards the end of season one? New new people obviously here. How how are you finding it here back in NXT for the day? There's a lot of new faces. It's just kind of different to be back here and not be a part of the show, but. You know, uh, we got all these newcomers here, and it's great to see all this new fresh talent coming in, and hopefully they can all kind of improve and show that they're ready to be on a main show. Yeah. Well, did you give any tips out today? Did, we, well, did anyone ask you for tips? Or? Yeah, a few people kind of were chewing my ear a little bit backstage, but, you know, I don't want to give away too, too much to kind of put me at a disadvantage when they move up. Very true, of course. Everybody looking to get onto the, the main shows. And look at this. Oh, goodness. In the shoulder first. And is Ismail here a bit aggressive here? Hey, he's starting to show a bit of aggression and trying to take this match to the next level, it looks like. Oh, but look at this, I got a nice reversal. And, well, Foley has said in the past, Matt, that he's only looking for the best talent on NXT, really. People like Ismail have to start really showing this if they're going to really get anywhere here on NXT. Yeah, you're going to have to step it up to kind of prove that you're ready to be the champion of NXT and to possibly get that roster spot challenge. Oh, and a nice backdrop again. And Ismail here, trying to put Edgar away. Nice shot to the back. Of course, remember, um, coming up in the next couple of weeks, there will be qualifying matches. Two lucky people from NXT again, as always. We'll get into Money in the Bank. One for Raw, one from SmackDown. There's a quick cover here, as in the one. And Matt, of course, everyone in NXT will be trying desperately to get into their matches. 
Yeah, that's going to be a hard one to get that victory for that match. Everybody's going to want that match. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that nice reverse neck break. I got going for the cover. Could it be enough? No, two only. Again, Ismail come back. Oh, and look like Nelly done the way of the ref there. But again, I've got dropping the fist right between the eyes. Edgar's starting to turn this around here. Yeah, look at this. Nice punches into the corner. The aggressive style from Edgar here. Look at this. Oh, just slamming Ismail to the mat. You've got to, see, you've got to, you've got to give credit to Edgar. He looks completely different from season one. And again, a two count. Ismail kicking out again. And he seems to have kind of beefed up a little bit. Kind of got bigger muscles on his arms. And, you know, it's kind of looks like he's been working out a lot. Trying to get back into fighting shape. Uh-oh. He knew this is it. You can see him. And here comes the fist drop right again in between the eyes. That could be enough to put Ismail away into the cover. Hook of the leg. Got him. And that is a big win, Matt Fakko. Yeah, I see him definitely becoming a next uh, NXT champion here. Well, a big win here tonight. I've got... Picking up the win in our opening contest of NXT. Matt, got to be impressed with this guy. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Edgar, he really impressed me when he was on SmackDown. It just kind of was a shame that he got tied in with the NWO and was released. But now he's got a second chance here in NXT, so hopefully he can make the best of it. Well, your winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Edgar. And is that Mick Foley coming to... Mick Foley? What the hell? What the hell is Mick Foley doing? Well, what is going on here, Matt? I don't know. Seems like Sleem's not happy with his positioning right now. Mick Foley's saying he only wants the best here on NXT and it's time to get rid of the crap. Well, he says you've got to be hungry and want to do your best every time. You've got to give him a chance, Mick. He's only been on two shows. And he, well, and maybe. He, yeah. Sorry, Matt. So maybe this will light a fire underneath him and maybe he'll start stepping it up. And if not, yeah. he'll be out on the streets. Well, there you go. Well, with that said... Oh, my... Oh, he's fight What? Mick... Mick laying down the law. He's fired him. Well, Mick obviously not impressed. And, well, there goes the end of the Bollywood sensation. And... Well, I'm a little bit stunned there, but coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, Oliver Gray from the British Ambition will take on Santino Morella. And Matt, I don't know if you've seen, but a bit of a change from Santino in recent weeks. Yeah, I noticed that backstage that he wasn't the same Santino I used to know from season one. Yeah, obviously he's turned round and said that he's not interested in the fans anymore. Well, maybe this way he'll be able to focus more on getting his wins in the right position and get his chance at the title shot, hopefully. And Oliver Gray, Matt, we've seen Adrian Neville have a few singles uh, matches, looking to do um, what he's partnering to do here and try and go into singles competition. Yeah, it's tough when you come in as a tag team to try and break away into singles and try and rack up those wins to kind of prove that you're able to do it, but I'll have to see how Oliver can do tonight. Well... Oliver Gray up against Santino Morella. Should be very interesting. So what do you think about this, Matt? Santino, you're saying that he wasn't the same backstage. I seen the promo a couple of weeks ago saying really that it's all about him for this season. Nothing to do with the fans. Yeah, it seems to kind of picked up quite an attitude. Maybe that's a good thing. But to me, it seems kind of a bad thing. You're kind of pushing away some of the fans that kind of been supporting him throughout season one. But maybe the turnaround will help. And yeah, the thing is, though, a lot of these fans backed Santino much of season one. Now, not really giving him much thought. Yeah, now you have to, yeah, just kind of have to go in the ring and prove it and get those wins to pretty much tie, propel him to a title shot. Well, it is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Santino Marilla, Oliver Gray is your next contest here on NXT. You've got to say, Matt, Santino, that's it, mocking the fans. Not really going to help his cause. 
Yeah, but maybe that's what he wants. He wants to antagonize him to maybe motivate him to light an aggression inside of him. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oliver Grit in the white. And look at this. Oliver oh, in high flying. The Brit, known for the high flying maneuvers. Obviously, you must have seen British Ambition a few times, man. Uh, really underachievers, many people say. Yeah, they just weren't able to get the right kind of matches to get those victories to propel them to winning the tag team titles and maybe now as single competitors they can kind of forge their own way and get to where they need to. And a lovely drop here, but nothing really affects on since Santino has not got out the blocks yet. As a oh and a nice takeover. Morella. But just this just new attitude from Santino. They're not interested in the fans and really just Saying all about him, it's just it's something, somebody, you would think somebody's just had to be talking in his ear for season two. Yeah, maybe it's just frustration of not being able to get anywhere and just kind of be stuck in limbo, sort of, here on NXT. As Morella taking Santi, uh, sorry, taking Oliver down. And look at this, oh, and a lovely DDT by Oliver Great. I'm sure Adrian. Neville watching in the back. He, again, it would be very interesting to see if Oliver we can go anywhere here in singles competitors, Matt. Um, but Santino, that nice uppercut, looking to. Uh oh. He calls this. It's the running head, but oh my goodness. He's opened Oliver Gray up, and I think this one's over, Matt. And yeah, it, it seemed is. like he caught it right on the head. Opened Oliver Gray up with a nasty cut. And Santino is your winner. Well, I guess this new aggression of his has kind of turned it around and he's starting to pick up some wins here, so could well, be a good sign for him. Indeed, a big win for Santino Morella. And well, fine. Look at him again mocking the fans, Matt. Yeah, kind of showing him that he doesn't need them to get the wins anymore. Well, your winner. Santino Morella and really in season two about to kick off for Santino we will find out in recent in coming weeks and wait a minute who's this guy who in the world is this maybe that's the voice in his ear Travis Kether well who is this guy Oh, uh, well, it's then that well, you might be right, man. It is maybe this is the guy that has been talking to Santino. Seeing that things are going to change, and Russell has asked him to get him to the top. Mm, maybe he's found himself a uh, good handler to kind of take his career on the next step that he needs to go. Yeah, and he's seen here that he's a change of attitude from uh, his client. No more silliness and no more playing to the fans. Hmm, this could just be what Santino might need. Oh, you see, in season two is going to be Santino Morella season. Well, we will find out. Reason that is a new interesting thing for you, Santino and Travis Cover. But coming up next, man, it is Bane versus Marvelous Monroe. Looks like it's uh, low brow versus high society. Mm. Bane, who's been, who has, uh, we've seen impressive over the last few weeks. He got a big win with. Uh, Zack Ryder last week in tag action. Now going back to singles competition. Have you it's managed to speak to uh, either of these two competitors, Matt? I really haven't got a chance to talk to either one of them, but I'm really interested to see how this one's going to play out. I mean, like I said, you got kind of a guy off the street looking like a brawler here in Bane going up against a uh, well defined, kind of patented uh, professional in Marvelous Monroe. Yeah, Marvelous Monroe came in uh, last week, NXT, made his NXT debut. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how week two goes for him. I'm uh, just having a quick look down on my notes. It beat Blaze last week. You've got to see it as yeah. I... So, sorry, my just so clear, I've seen... What about that rope, though? Absolutely beautiful. Hey, he's definitely got some money behind him. He's definitely got it put together. So I think he's going to be one of the hot stars here on NXT to definitely be watching out for. 
definitely one of the best dressed. Yeah, uh, that's what happens when you get a lot of money and you have a lot of fame and maybe that can help him get off NXT as fast as possible and maybe he can be highlighting some of the uh, SmackDown and Raw shows. Yeah, definitely. Let's just look. I, I said this last week in commentary. That robe is beautiful. What a beautiful thing. And I can tell you one thing, that they're not cheap. No, definitely not. Well, Marvelous Monroe ready for action here. Week 2. Uh, sorry, week 2 for Marvelous Monroe, sorry. Here in NXT. Let's see if he's as impressive as he was the first week. But I'm sure Blaine is going to give him a very big test here. Yeah, I think he's going to have to watch out for some of the brawling skills of Bane to kind of find that weakness and maybe hit him with a good technical maneuver and set him up for some kind of finisher or possibly... A good submission hold. And a, a nice, look at this, nice back suplex by Bain. Seeing Bain really going to have to keep the ball in, but look at this, Monroe shows he can brawl as well. And look at the power! Takes him over for the suplex. Monroe seems to have it all, really. Looks the uh, the moves, but look at this, Bain saying having none of that. Lovely belly to belly suplex. Yeah, it just kind of overpowered him there. And Bane will have, uh, you would think, the the, uh, the power advantage in this one. But I think, look at this, just a neat of the back, Monroe. As I said it last week, Matt, he was sorted, knows all the ways to get out of moves. Bane really just has to keep hitting and running, you would think. Yeah, he's been trained very well, this Marvelous Monroe. He certainly has a lot of technical skills that he's using to his advantage. And this nice kick to the gut again, and then the ball in style again. I don't know if that cut being open that. Definitely seemed like there may have been a cut on being and a lovely close into the bulldog. One more impressive here. Yeah, There's a nice one two punch there. This, who's gonna, and then one will still come out. Oh, but look at that. That, that, that can't be allowed. Come on, referee. Using some of the dirty tactics. Maybe that'll help him defend off this brawler here in Bane. Yeah, look at this again. They go behind by Monroe. Another shot to the back. And you would really think Monroe's been the bro more of the brawler in, in this match. Yeah, this is a definitely back and forth matchup here. And oh, on the takeover. Nice over. power slam. Yeah, nice takeover here. What's coming up here? Dropping the elbow right to the mid section. Right to the heart of the gut, that. Oh, but Bane having none of that. Coming back the clothesline of his own. Bane's trying to get behind Bane here. Setting him up, another back suplex right, oh, lands, Monroe lands right on the back of his head. And here comes that brawl in style, Matt. Yep, fists are flying. Going to be setting him up for here. Yeah, don't know what he's going to do, oh, it looks to be picking him up, chucks him into the ropes. That could well be, but Monroe, look at this, comes straight back at him. Oh, nice reverse. Hey, Snake. Yeah, lovely neck. Sorry, man. Eh? Yeah, it was oh, a very good move. Oh, what was that? Wait, referee! He had something in his tight. What the hell? How I don't know if the ref caught that quick, but he said something to him. Yeah, Bane, man, somehow. I don't know if he caught, the, caught it full. Monroe, though, over that sunset flip. Could that be enough to put Bane away into the cover? No, just a one. Again. What is this coming up? Another. Uh oh. Oh! Drops him down! Look like he landed him on not on his neck or his head possibly. In yeah, a it's like a very vicious brain buster kind of maneuver. And that is it! And another win for Marvelous Monroe here this week on NXT. Really liking this style of this Marvelous Monroe. He's definitely a throwback to the, like the 70s and 80s kind of wrestlers. Well, he's really getting, liking it. Yeah, he's getting the job done, Matt. That's the most important thing. Yeah, hopefully Mick Foley will take notice. Well, surely we will see him. Marvelous man. Well, maybe we could see him in one of these um, Money in the Bank qualifying matches that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. We will find out. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, your winner. It would be impressive. It would be very impressive if he makes it into one of those uh, la uh, Money in the Bank ladder matches. Yeah, we'd love to see that. Surely coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, Monroe is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, congratulations to him. And well, well, 
hold on. What the hell? Who the hell is that? Well, look at that, Matt. Some people, they have the skills and they get the ladies at the same time. Well, it's the, well, Matt, coming up next, it is the NXT TV title. It is the rubber match, Manic versus Jay Kaifa. And it is for Manic's TV title. Yeah, these two have been going back and forth trading victories, so it'll be very, very interesting to see who will come up with the final victory here. Yeah, yeah Manic did hold the title. Kaifa managed to beat him uh, back in C uh, episode one. And then we had a win for Manic to get the title back. And now this is the rubber match. And Matt, listen to this. Breaking news from Mick Foley backstage. He is a, he said, whoever wins this match, well, that's the end of the feud. It means whoever loses does not get another title shot as the other person is champion. So what do you think about that? Well, very interesting to see who can pull out the victory and who's going to not be fighting for the TV title in the next coming weeks. Yeah, so really it's winner takes all. But they're just kind of lucky with the way McFoley's been going around that they didn't just get fired. That's true. And of course, you can follow Manic on Twitter at Hey Guys, It's Manic. Uh, make sure you follow him there as well. Uh, all our superstars going on uh, Twitter. Make sure you follow most of them there. Uh, also, make sure you're following us on Twitter at NSW underscore 360 and on YouTube and on Facebook as well. So many good things, Matt. You can catch all our shows. It's like having my own network. Yep. You either catch them here live or not. Catch them on a replay on YouTube or come back here on Twitch and watch them as a replay. Yeah, you can. So many ways you can watch NSW, the new hot e fed in the world. And it just keeps growing and growing and getting better and better each week. Well, and what about this guy, Matt Kaifa? Been impressed. You have to be impressed. He's been very impressive on NXT. And as I see, a chance here tonight to regain the N uh, TV title. Yeah, let's see how they can kind of figure each other out. They've had two matches to kind of get a glance at each other and see how each other's wrestling skills kind of pair up. And it seemed like Manic kind of found a weakness last week. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is for the TV title. And we are underway. Matt, who do you think is going to win this one then? Uh, I might have to give it to Ka Kaifa. He might have a way to figure out how to take Manic down this time. Well, we'll find out. Is it one, one victory each? Uh, this has been a very good um, feud between the two of them. Kaifa, now, look at this. It's ramming Manic's head into the floor. And the thing is, Matt, who is Manic? Nobody actually knows. Yeah, he kind of just showed up and... No one's really been able to get kind of an interview, sort of, to find out who he is, and maybe in the coming weeks we'll end up finding out, or maybe never. Yeah, as the go behind and the nice back suplex by my take him over. As a yeah, it's definitely a, a difference between two fly high flying skills. You, you got more of the daredevil skilling uh, or the daredevil high flying maneuvers of Manic and Jake Ife is got some good high flying maneuvers but the more like kind of technical and grounded to the mat more or less yeah i totally agree manic again now in control yeah remember his tv title he won it back originally won it back in the one night only tournament in the preseason, and then lost it really at his first defense when a shock many said was a shock upset against kaifa managed to win it back the following week and now here at week five we're ready to go for the rubber match and Manic just seems to be very impressive here tonight. You have to give that so far. He yeah, seems to be a little bit faster and kind of keeping the pace up on Kaifa, where Kaifa kind of likes to keep it kind of slow and kind of methodical pace. And again, Manic, look at this. Hip toss in back inside the ring. And the vertical leap, you've got to say, Manic has really scouted this guy. Just he must have drank his Mountain Dew before this match. Yeah, just before that. Look at that. Oh, nice DDT. Have I said, have I just spoke too soon? And that's Kaifa going to get the victory. Here. Look at that, though. Arrogance at its best. By Kaifa. Yeah, it could 
Could be considered arrogance, could be considered some skill though to be able to do that headstand and keep him in the headlock. Yeah, indeed. Look at this into the the post here. Oh and a slice by number two! And that could be it! No, what's he doing? He's trying to soften him up a bit more here. Oh, so he's see? working over the kidneys. But why is he being arrogant? Pin him! You, you could have won it! See, I yeah, think. Maybe he's trying to. He's maybe trying to put, prove a point to Mick Foley that, you know, he's trying to show that he's a, like, a little bit better than Manic and maybe he'll get noticed more. Yeah, but at the end of the day, though, if you have someone won, surely you know it yourself being a champion. Things can easily turn just like that! And Manic could have the victory here. No, at a one. I see Kaifa needs to take it when he's got the advantage. Oh, nice! Face buster in the... And surely now new TV title one in the cover. There's two. Oh, kick out of two. Manic so, so close, close to losing the title. But then all of a sudden, yeah. Manic turns it round. Oh, what? look Powerful. at that. He got him. And Manic retains the title. That was a very impressive kind of roll up maneuver to, into that pin position. And Manic takes the title, regain, well, retains the title, sorry. And that is the end of Kaifa's title chances, while Manik is still the champion. Yeah, Kaifa's Kaif going to have to go back and kind of look over what happened in this match and maybe look for some kind of new competitor to try and elevate his career. Well, we have to say congratulations to Manik. He is still your NXT TV title holder. And surely now... We could be looking at a lengthy title run for Manic. Congratulations to him. As it, whoa, where did he come from? Hold on. I know who that guy is. But whoa, that's Morgan Wolf. What the hell? I haven't seen him since the beginning of the season. But, what, uh, uh, what is this? It's just a night of shocks, ladies and gentlemen. Morgan Wolf returns to NXT. And coming up next, the new Disney Alliance are going to take on Air Boom. Morgan Wolf, what the hell? And, uh, from what I understand, he hasn't been back in NXT since, what, the beginning of the season? Or not even this season? Well, and he's going, well, what's, he go what's the whole thing with Manic? Surely you would think... Mm, maybe he's well, trying to make a statement. Show Mick he's back and ready to go. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mick Foley will definitely be impressed with that if he's trying to look at impact, but this team, very impressive, man. Air Boom, looking forward to these two going in the tag team uh, title hunt for season two. Yeah, but they got a tough uh, match coming up against the Disney Alliance here, and I know how the Disney Alliance can be kind of backstabbing and dirty, so they're going to have to kind of watch each other's back. Well... I don't know what to make of this new theme song from the Disney Alliance. Um, very popular on the YouTube, I've heard. But uh, what, what do you make of this? J.C. Pullins joining the uh, Disney Alliance? Uh, maybe it's just to make a statement to kind of get himself back into being noticed around here. He well, really didn't have much of a thing going on last at the end of the last season, so maybe joining the Alliance will help elevate him to a new, new level. Yeah, and we're going to see Joe Disney in action. Oh, this would be very interesting. Because mm, I know you used to get on so well. Yeah, I, I pity uh, Evan Bourne having to work with Joe Disney in the ring. <laughs> well, we will find out how this goes, goes here. And Evan Bourne on oh, nice. Neck break. Are JC Pullins... As I said, joined the Disney Alliance last week. Uh, now, it, what was this week though? D Joe Disney saying that he's getting a new person in to season two. He's going to get someone else. There's another member waiting to join. And you've got to say Morgan Wolf's back. Are we seeing Morgan Wolf come back to the Disney Alliance? It's very possible. He was a part of it in the end of season two so, or season one. It's very possible. Yeah, we all know that um, Morgan Wolf was a big fan of Joe Disney's and really talked a lot about him backstage. But uh, it's very strange to see Morgan Wolf back in here. Still can't get over that. 
and uh, but back to this match as you see really this could be a number one contendership match Matt. of course the titles were changed hands in the tag division last week where the real, the real Americans beat uh, the United Kingdom to win the titles so you could really be seeing one of these teams could be the new number one contender yeah, it's very possible. I mean, every win kind of elevates you a little bit further and further closer to getting to those title shots and then possibly getting your uh, chance to be on one of the main roster sh uh, shows. Yeah, so. And look at this, oh, nice drop to hold by JC Pullins into the cover. Only gets a one. Disney in. Evan Bourne run the ropes. Going over, getting, and here comes Evan, uh, sorry, Kofi Kingston for the first time. Disney though taking to it. You've got to see. You've got to be. You've got to be in, uh, impressed with Joe Disney though. Matt seems to have honed his skills a little bit. Likes to call himself the hardcore legend. Apparently. Oh, I think when you start calling yourselves things and you haven't actually accomplished it yet, it's a little too much of your believing your own hype. So hopefully, he can put together some kind of wins here with maybe J.C. Pullins and kind of show that he can be that champion. Hopefully, he can get to become a hardcore champion and prove to, that he is the hardcore champion. Yeah, he only calls himself the hardcore legend because he took two guitar shots on SmackDown. You do know that, don't you? Well, I'm, I'm sure taking two guitar shots doesn't make you a legend, so... Apparently, we'll just, 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 just to him. But, uh... You can hear the fans chanting away that for uh, Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston trying to get them going here. And look at this, Kofi on the wrong side of town. Double team in here. Good shot into the stomach. Kofi, though, seems to be battling, but every time he does, gets caught by one of the Disney Alliance members. Yeah, Joe seems to really be working well with uh, JC Pullins here. And look at this, Kofi running off the ropes that Evan trying to get out the way. There's the tag. Kofi again going to the outside here. Needs to get a tag here on Evan Bourne. Look at this. Oh, nice takedown. That might be it. Yeah, I think that should be it. End of the cover. Hook of the leg. One, two. Oh, two only. Evan breaks it up. Again, so close to being a win here for the Disney Lions. Oh, nice monkey flip by Kofi. And what's it? Oh, whoa, whoa. What's that all about? What the hell? Why is it? Why did everyone want to turn on him? Like, and what? And now Kofi's got to face two men from the Disney Alliance. What the hell is Evan Bourne doing? This what? is going to cause some controversy between these two. Definitely. I mean, I thought they were good friends. Well, and we knew that Kofi and Evan had a match a couple of weeks back for the number one contendership. But Kofi, Kofi saying that he was sick of people saying Evan was the high flyer, but we thought we'd iron the, iron the differences out here. But Kofi, if he can pick this up and pick up a win against two men, it would be a bit of a, a complete upset, really, I would have to say, because the Disney Alliance, but Kofi seems to be on a roll here. It would definitely be an upset, but how would that kind of mesh with the what we just ha have seen happen with him and Evan Bourne? If he what? wins this match, would they still be a tag team, or...? Well, I, I, I don't know. I would like to know what Evan Bourne is into the cover, though. There's one. There's two. Oh, JC Pullins calls it up. Turns it round. And, well, Evan Bourne just deserts Kofi, Kofi here. Kofi's got to fight both Disney Alliance members. And Joe Bulldog out of the corner. And, well, what the hell is going on? And look at this. Camel Clutch. Fans desperately trying to get behind Kofi Kingston here. He's trying to get to them ropes. Yeah, needs to get there. And look at this, Kofi's still got a fight in him. Gotta give Kofi credit a lot of credit here. Battling away. Yeah, he's definitely taking it to Joe and JC Holland in this match. But now again, Kofi really, despite battling doing, Joe's took this all by himself here. Oh, and the headbutt into the midsection. Oh, my goodness. This one, I think, could be over. Oh, my. What a win. Can you see it? What a win. 
Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, Disney it is kind of one on two now at the end of this match. Well, the Disney Alliance win the match, but Evan Bourne, what the hell was he? What's he walked in and Kofi for? I don't know, well, to get someone back to each, possibly to get an interview with him to find out what he was thinking in that. I mean, the way I looked at it, they had a pretty good advantage going into that match. They had been a good tag team together for a while and definitely had a shot to, to take Hold down on. the alliance. Evan, Evan's coming back down here. What the hell? Oh, no, don't tell me. This cannot be happening. Please tell me Evan Bourne, oh my god. Evan Bourne has joined the Disney Alliance. What the hell? Jay's definitely got himself a good alliance growing here. JC Bones and Evan Bourne. Yeah, and he's saying it's just the start of the takeover. They've got other people. He's going to take over NSW as a whole. Well, what, Matt, what is going on? If th this show just can't get weirder this week. Joe Disney now has the Disney Alliance back up to three members. He's now saying he's got other people waiting to join. And I am not doing the Disney dance. Matt, uh, Matt do you do the Disney dance? Nah, that's not my style of dance. Well, coming up next, it is the amazing Jess in action. And he's going to take on newcomer to NXT, J.D. <coughs> Cutler. And for once, I don't actually have someone sitting I next to me that just goes on and on about this guy. Needs me. I mean, Jess wasn't able to make it tonight, so... Wow, um, I, this is probably be one of my first chances to actually get a real good look to see what the amazing Jess has to bring to the table here in NXT. Matt, honestly, each week, Jess, this is, just, just goes, my son this, my son that. He's got a worse record than you would have. You would, you would think. You would think this guy's a world champion. No, well, like I said, I, I've only caught a couple of here, matches here and there, and mostly been on tape and video and that. So it's great to see him live and in person to see how he can do. Well, Jess is up against. Going to be up against Newcomb now, but well, losing the number one contendership match last week. Saying that though, he didn't get pinned. Justin Gable was pinned by Oliver Bisping, and that match is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the NXT title is going to be on the line. It is coming up soon, but Jess, well, has a chance to get back to winning ways tonight. It's always about the next victory and seeing where you can go from there. Yeah, definitely. He has to start picking the wins back up, though. And all I'm just saying, I'm thinking, my goodness, the Eaz are finally going to get a, a, a rest this week from me and Jess Oakland going on about his son constantly every five seconds. Yeah, I did notice the he kind of pretended how, or kept saying how great he was and how amazing he was. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens in this match. Well, it is coming up next. And yeah, is a newcomer to season two. It is JC Cutler. Yeah, it'd be very interesting to see what JC Cutler can do. And I understand he goes by the gold standard, so see if he can actually bring that kind of to fruition and capture gold here in NXT. Well, we will find out. JC coming to the ring. I see it. Brand new competitor to NXT and uh, let's see how the gold standard gets on here very impressive looks a very impressive athlete Matt you have to say that yeah very good wrestling shape and looks like he's ready to go and ready to get the job done be a very interesting match against uh, a newcomer going against a veteran but looks of uh GC Cutler there, he looks a little bit more prepared than Jess so far. Yeah, Jess, of course, uh, really a bit, bit of a disadvantage champ because obviously not known much anything about JC. But uh, JC, obviously, I'm sure he would have done his homework over J Jess, and we will find out who's got the, the better skills here tonight. Yeah, well, the high flying moves of the amazing Jess kind of outpower the technical skills of this JC Cutler's abilities. 
Well, we will, as I say, we'll find out. As nice arm dog. Just, oh, nice belly to belly takeover. But again, just seems to be that little bit quicker. But then, just as I say that, look at this. Oh, CG there coming straight back. Having none of it. Trying to show just some of his own skills here. And it's very back and forth between these two. And, uh, nice body slam there. A little body block in the corner. Look at this. Oh my goodness, what a takeover that is. That was very nice. Very impressive. And then this, this kicks. What is going on here? The, the matchup, he's got the test of strength here. Oh, stand off. Just now going to the go behind. Nice takeover. And anyone, even the amazing Jess, can do a Russian leg sweep. And Jess in very, control. Yeah, very back and forth between these two. And then look at this, the Jess again. Oh, nice. Back suplex. And, well, Jess is in control here. Very impressive. CG needs to really get a bit of a breather here. Just in complete control. But just as I said that, CJ coming back. Another standoff body block. Oh, and he... That's the fruit roll-up. Jess's favourite manoeuvre. This one should be over. Jess dragging CJ away. End of the cover. No hook of the leg. That could be... Yeah, he just kicks it at one. He should really hook the leg there. And here comes CJ and Matt on the comeback. Yeah, you, know, you gotta always secure that leg and keep your opponent down, but CJ's making the comeback now. Oh, nice, nice elbow. elbow. Yeah, lovely elbow in, right in to the stomach. Oh, look at this. He's just for show off. Second one right to the heart of Jess. Jess has got to try and get out of this. Oh, and a nice sweep. Taking Jess back off his feet again. CJ showing some impressive skills here. CJ in the corner. There's that body block again. He's definitely keeping Jess grounded and not letting him fly and move around the ring. Yeah, and look, just a drop kick in the corner. DJ here, what's he doing here? Uh oh, the step through. Oh, look at this submission move, Matt. Wow, oh, that's not your average submission hold there. And Jess has got to try well, and well locked on there, but close to the ropes, though. He's got to try and get rid of this yet. He's trying to try, he's near the ropes, I don't think he can reach, he's got that arm tied up. It's the other arm that's free, and now he's on the wrong side. What? Well, Jess is fighting it, he's fighting as much as he can here, Matt. And he couldn't, yeah, he got out of it. Couldn't tell, uh, I don't know if CJ was actually holding the ropes over there or not. Oh, look at that, oh, the, the turnover face plant. And that is surely gonna be it. End of the cover. No hook of the leg again. But enough for the gold standard to pick up the win. Matt, a big win for JC. Yeah, nice win to come out in your first match on NXT here and get the victory over a veteran of NXT of season two so far, Jeff, the amazing Jess. Yeah, and that is a big win for CJ. And well, another quality sign into NXT looks like from Mick Foley. Yeah, this guy definitely looks like he's put together and ready to go, and hopefully we'll see him get his chance at a, maybe a TV title shot or the NXT heavyweight title shot. Well, we will find coming weeks, but your winner, ladies and gentlemen, J.C. Cutler. Gold standard has gotten here. Yep. And ladies and gentlemen, Marvelous Monroe has left the building. Be nice. I wish I could have a limousine. Looks like he's already to go off and party. Hmm. Maybe you should follow him. You're the party guy. But coming up, Matt, it is our NXT Championship match. Your main event for week five. It's the Raider defending against Oliver Bisping. And I can't still believe that Oliver Bisping is the number one contender. Well, it just goes to show that you put forth some of the effort and you may get rewarded with some good shots at becoming the possible champion. And what about this guy, man? 68-year-old Raider is NXT champion now going... Well, this will be his third defense if he does it. 
Yeah, it's going to be kind of a tough one, though, going up against Oliver Bisbing. I think Bisbing has picked up a lot of things over the past couple of weeks and is very, getting very good at knowing where to place the good maneuvers and where not to do it. So hopefully the Raider can hold on to his title, but I'd really like to see Oliver Bisbing become champion. It'd be a really good, heartfelt story to see him win champion. Well, he's gone from, obviously, he was our, one of my co uh, commentated colleagues. Does, we do main event each week. Um, and now here he goes for the NXT title. What is with you guys, co commentators, going for this title? <laughs> I know. I guess it's one way to make a statement and get yourself known. Well, Oliver, come into the ring, and you know, the fans love him. Which <laughs> you've got to say, he's got the fans on his side. Hey, he seems to have kind of filled that spot where Santina Morello kind of stepped out of. Became sort of like the crowd favorite here in NXT and definitely has a good fan following here. Indeed. And guys, if you're watching us for the first time, thank you very much. Please hit that follow button if you're on Twitch. So close, man, now to 400 followers uh, on, on our Twitch TV channel. Yeah, it'd be very impressive once we hit that 400 mark and hopefully we can keep climbing even more and more. Indeed. Make sure you tell everyone you know about us. We are here uh, most nights uh, bringing you action from NSW. More to come as well, guys. Make sure you're following us because all the links are below the stream. And we are ready now for the NXT Championship match. Your main event of NXT Week 5. Vera against Oliver Bisping. And really, Matt, this could be Bisping's finest moment. Yeah, this could be definitely the underdog story of the evening to see Oliver Bisping come out and win the championship. Well, we are going to find out. And remember, the Raider needs to have two more title defenses, man, before he gets another main roster spot challenge. Yeah, I know. I, I got to actually see the uh, main event match where he went against Ryan Fox, and he put up a tough fight, but he's just not ready to be up there, I guess, in the main roster. And Ryan Fox showed why he's on the main roster. And you also got to believe, remember, Matt, this guy's 68 years old. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Definitely got a good stamina. He's got definitely good stamina and cardio going to be able to put up with some of these young wrestlers here in the ring. You, Matt, think of the people. He beat AJZ for the title, which, of course, is the, the youngest competitor we have here on NSW. He then beat Tyson Kidd. Then he beat Kofi Kingston. That is an impressive list. Yeah, the Tyson Kidd and Kofi Kingston are some really hard competitors, so got hats off to him for getting the job done in those matches, but it's going to start taking your toll, I think, on him. Well, again, look at this. Bisping going for the legs. Maybe that's a good strategy. Take the guy's legs out, but you cannot ever, ever count out the Vader. The guy has come back from seemingly defeat every time he fights here in, 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 in NXT. Um, and again, you were saying, the match against Ryan Fox on main event, he looked so close to winning it, and then was really was defeated right at the, at the end. Um, must have been hard, would have been heartbreaking for anyone. You have been in that situation, Matt. You won a main roster spot challenge. Um, as you say, it must be unbelievable feeling when you do finally get over the line. It's great when you finally get, when you break through and you get to that next level, but... Maybe the Raider just needs to pick up a couple more wins to get himself in that position to pick up that win. Yeah, definitely just to get it that main roster spot chance. And look at this. Bisping, though, has been so impressive since week one. He looked out of shape in week one. Came back. Sort of really, I'd love to know who's been teaching him. Uh, honestly, just been such a revelation here in the last few weeks. And now the Raider, though, trying to <laughs> open up a wound here. I don't understand why he's pushing the feet. I, I don't understand why Matt's still allowed to wear glasses. Sunshine's allowed to wear. Uh, sorry, he's allowed to wear. Sunshine is allowed to wear glasses. I think they may be like corrective lenses that you know, if he doesn't have them on, he might not be able to see in the ring. So, yeah, to be able to be a competitor. And the big slam by the Raider. This could be it. We've seen him put away people before. And the Raider wins again. A very impressive win to. Take down the momentum that Oliver had been building. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Even without his sons here this week, the Raider continues on with the, another title defense. 
and well, he always is again, man. He's only one away from another main roster spot challenge. Yeah, we'll have to see if maybe the next person can take this title from him. If not, they'll have to go up against another, either I would imagine maybe SmackDown superstar. Don't know, we will we'll have to find out the next time. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is the Vera. And he's gonna, oh, he's got a mic here. Let's see what he has to say. Well, that's true. Nobody in NXT can touch him at the moment. He made one mistake on main event that cost him, just as we are saying before. But you have to see, you have to give this guy credit, though. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully he can get the next win to get that shot again. Well, who is he going to do? Oh, whoa, hold on, hold on. Whoa! What the hell? The Disney Alliance? What the hell is this all about? Maybe Joe's got a different idea for that title. Wow, well... Maybe Joe and... Well, indeed, that is crazy. The Disney Alliance leaving the Raider Lion in the ring. The new Disney Alliance, well, they definitely mean business, Matt, are here on NXT. Yeah, definitely making a statement is the Disney Alliance. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Week five is over. My thanks for uh, for Matt. Matt, thank you very much for filling in this week. And uh, yeah. what an episode. Yeah, it's a very great episode. I mean, a lot of new superstars I haven't seen yet. So it was a great night to be here. Well, guys, remember, if you're on uh, Twitch, do give us a follow. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give us plenty of comments. We love to hear from everyone. And that is it. Me and Matt will be back tomorrow night for Raw. Until then, goodbye for now.